Hello and welcome to Gary's Garage. Today I'm inside the Santa Fe. So we're, what we're working on today is the heater control and specifically the fan. This um, knob is uh, is not working properly so you set the fan speed and as you drive it speeds up the fan speeds up slows down feed the speeds up and slows down I had checked the um, uh, the resistor uh, that's in for the fan that uh, helps the works with controlling the actual speed and that is fine so that's I've checked that and that's good and so I understand this is a relatively common problem on these models this control is without uh, without the climate control um, and uh, so it's just the basic heat and air conditioning so this problem is fairly common from 08 to 12 or depending when it has this configuration and it has to do with this this knob and the contacts and how it works inside so let's get it open and uh, see what we're gonna do so the first thing up is you need a screwdriver Phillips and there's one screw at the bottom here on the kick panel we have to pull this um, uh, knee bolster or knee pad uh, loose so we'll be able to get this wood trim this fake wood trim off the dash so um, that's the first thing to do let's get going so there's the key and you follow this panel down and you can see there's there's a screw there a little hard to see unless you illuminate it and um, you would think it would be you know at an upward angle but it isn't it's uh, it's on a parallel angle facing forward so it's just easy to get this off and then you can pull this down and then we'll work on getting the getting the top part out this is where in, um, it's nice to have a trim a trim tool to get in here so let's we might be able to get it without the trim tool but uh, let's grab a trim tool there we go I was able to get it uh, loose I really just um, you can see inside there is uh, a couple of clips right there and, um, and then there's just a pair of tabs that push into those clips so it, it's uh, because it's really tight on the top it's difficult but what I did is I just put my fingers on the bottom of the pad and then pulled up this way and then I was able to get it to to release so now that it's loose it'll be possible to get this uh, wood panel to release and I think you can you might be able to see in there that uh, that it would interfere with this this panel has to be loose to get that out so well, let's move on to the next phase of this phase two so the next part is to to get this out is to start at this end and to do that you um, get a trim tool and then get this I don't know if you have to take it out completely well probably better off that way yeah that might be better off to get that off so let me just how many hands do I need there we go so now there's lots there's lots of room there and then the next thing is that there's a um, one of the clips one of the push through clips comes out on this side so if we get in you can use it if your fingers are strong enough you could push it out but I no longer have the vice grip fingers I used to have and uh, I'm gonna use a tool to um, to lever this in here so I'm gonna need both hands so I'll just hold on to give yourself some more access room uh, you just remove this rubber trim and it pulls straight off it just attaches to this this seam so it pulls straight off and then you'll be able to just push it back on and then once it's off you can take this this door out and I 
and I'm not too sure if this camera will pick up inside but uh, that's where we got to push this out so a little bit of uh, leverage pushing in uh, in here with the tool I was able to get get on here and I, I can't really do it with the camera there and then push on that combined with a bit of a trim pull tool at the front here can help you get this off and then you can slowly pull pull it out one one little bit at a time you want to use uh, caution you don't damage anything so the the trim tool works works great you can do it with a combination of fingers and pry just be patient and it will it will come out this is where you don't want to break it is right here so we're we're getting there but uh a little bit more to do so the the one that was really holding things up here is this guy right here and trying to get this out there's a locating pin here and uh, there's a little bit of like felt material on top of these metal clips that's to prevent the dash from rattling so but you just keep working on it and uh, it should just come out all in one piece. Yeah, here, I'm gonna have to work on the other side. The trim tool. Okay. All right, so I've got the right angle trim tool in the back here. And then pull straight forward. And this last little bit, this clip here, has let go. Uh, and this is where. Oh! Don't have to shift gears you can just pull it right out so so that's what we need to get out to expose the screws here which hold this panel in place so that's that's the next thing we need to do so grab my, my Phillips screwdriver I could uh, record this I guess fast forward through it gonna need two hands so well you I'll just show you once I got it off here so there's two more screws, one right here, one right here. Once you get those out, you can pull, and this trim panel moves uh, just forward a little bit. You don't have to take it out, and that gives you enough capability to move this up and out. Then uh, all there is is just a little clip. Use your thumb, squeeze on the little tab, and then you should be able to pull it out again because this has probably never been out it's a two-handed job a little wiggle back and forth and there we go we now have this unit in our hands and uh, I'm gonna take this inside the house and set up a table where I can very carefully take this apart and then we'll clean up this switch and hopefully get it working properly okay all right so next up is to remove there's four screws small screws one basically in each corner that uh, you need to remove they are Phillips screws um, the number two seems to work just fine to take them out even though they're quite a small head so um, just get those all out and then we move to the next step so all four screws are out now comes the Houdini act so um, you need to be able to release these these tabs and um, there's two on one side two on the other side the key is you got to do both at the same time and this is fairly hard Plastic. There's some flex in it, but 
it can break pretty easy so don't try not to manhandle it and you if you can see there's little tabs inside the idea is just to clear the tabs so I've got some uh, assortment of uh, pick tools here which I'll use possibly a small um, blade screwdriver we'll, we'll work on this I'll, I can't do it and and show you at the same time because I don't have a tripod so um, I'll just review how I got it done once I get it done so I was able to use the pick tool beside beside the tab to to wedge it up and um, and then it stayed it stayed up on the one corner while I moved to the other side so now we'll be able to um, flip it over and do do the the other side okay so I've got two pick tools wedging these up but there's also Two more clips and not difficult to see but they're right in these holes here and here so what you do is just get the tool in there and just give it a little push towards the center and it should un it should unclip and then wedge sorry and then um, do one side and then wedge it up if you can see here we'll see if we can there you can just get it to go up and uh, right and then on the other side a little bit of that and then release this at the same time that we're prying up and then, so patience, then we can pull this out and flip this over and here we go. So here is the, the fan switch here, which goes around and you can see there's some little fingers that drag on the on the tracks which are part of the PC board there's ones on this side and oh you can't see anything on there's nothing on this side but there's ones underneath so they don't look too bad so we're gonna give these a clean and give the, the contact points clean and make sure there's enough um, pressure on them so that they're making good contact because that's where the uh, the issue is all right, <clears throat> the next part to getting this switch off is to take the board off this back section, this back cover. So there are three uh, Phillips screws. Let me just see if I can put this down. And just turn them out. When you're taking them out, you can you can make note of how how tight they are to know how to put them back in. Um, you know, I'm, I'm if if you've watched my me before, you've known that I I sort of indicate try not to over tighten things, and because it's so easy to break, especially when you're working with the plastic. So so this comes apart. And there's the bottom tray, and then there's the there's the board. So the uh, in this case the switch with the fan speed is here this is the temperature on this side it's been working fine but the, um, the fan switch is the one that's the problem but we're going to clean both so let's just do that to take this off there's two uh, Phillips screws on this side and um, I don't think the number two is going to fit no I need a number, number one I gotta go find that There we go, we've got a little, little Phillips head. I call them like computer screwdriver set or little minis, mini tools. They come in handy. 
because uh, you can kind of work with them with one hand, which is which is good when you have to hold something else. There we go. And we'll want to keep this orientation such that we can put it back together exactly the same way. So there. So now it doesn't look that that bad, but you can see just this little bit of dirt here will make a um, part-time uh, connection. And it's probably hard to see, but these little tiny fingers, you know, maybe in macro mode here, these little tiny fingers here, there's four of them. And then there's a couple over here. So they need to be cleaned, but you got to be careful as not to damage or bend them because then they won't make contact on the board. So I'm going to get set up to do that. To clean this, uh, what I'm going to do is take an alcohol uh, pad, a little, little wipe that's just a little pad with some alcohol um, already on it. The idea is to gently go back and forth and you'll see the the dirt will come come right off and the idea is that we leave the surface clean make sure you go around and get all of the the area now when you're doing this of course when this is put together it's put together with a lubricant and then the lubricant gets dry and you know it, it also attracts any dust that might get in there sticks to that and then um, and then <laughs> look how dirty that is uh, I think we've we've already made a really good indent but we're gonna have to lubricate it back again uh, before we put it back together otherwise it, it you know we'll get too much friction and metal will begin to come off and that'll make it dirty so it's a it's a pros and pros and cons thing so and then so over here I might not be able to do this with one hand but the idea is to gently go um, away from the pivot and yeah you'll pick up a little bit of the dirt on those markers it's not too bad go around to the other side now this one we're going this way pull towards you hard to do with one hand yep. there we go so that's it that's it's it's clean and then I've got a little bit of dielectric grease that I'm going to use to lubricate this as we put it back together. Okay, let me get that. So I have here a, a little small package of dielectric grease. In this case, it's sold as battery terminal and cable protector, uh, insulates battery posts, and electrical. So it's just a little bit of uh, um, silicone based lubricant. But it's it has additives so that it doesn't um, set up. So all we're going to do is just go around a little bit, all the way around on all the surfaces, all the contact surfaces, and uh, there we go. So now all that's left to do is to reassemble. clean the other side. There it is clean and lubricated. Let's just put the the switch back on.
So all we got to do now is reinstall this panel into the case with those three screws. Assemble that and we'll put it back in the car. Nice and gentle, all ready to go. Bring the front panel back in, turn it over, and this is just a snap in. That's it. Just carefully scavies. All done. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I put this together, and it didn't feel right, and wasn't snapping fully together. And so what it was was one of these um, rings, which is light diffusion guides or whatever, which had been sitting here, had turned slightly. They have the, they have three little alignment pegs. So the idea is that they um, there's there's these. Um, LEDs and they go in the holes and there's pins so you want to Do it the other way around so you melt these in make sure those pegs are in the holes on the PC board and you're in place and then add this To that so that it doesn't fall off and uh, And then these will all Work fine. So uh, let me just snap it together again, but holding it this this side up and uh, now it feels like it's working properly and it's fully snapped all the way around now I can put the screws in there we go so as a top tip, if something doesn't feel right, stop, go back, check, and uh, that will might save you a whole lot of trouble later on. And Because uh, job done right is the only way to do a job. So, Alright, so let's get back this back in the car. So, install is pretty well the reverse of <laughs> this assembly. Get this in uh, position. It goes up in there and uh, and plug it in. So again, this is another one of those hard to do with uh, one hand. So I'm going to get it in position. I'm going to use just one screw to keep it from going. Maybe I'll use two. I'm going to walk about and uh, and we'll test it. Okay, there we go. So, I don't know if you can hear, probably not, but uh, incremental fan every speed available, wiggle. Seems to be holding speed. Everything is working. Yeah.
I think that's job done. So we'll just put this back together. I'll show you. I'll show you clipping in the the trim panel. The rest of it is really just putting the screws back in. I'm pretty sure you can figure that out. Um, this is where you're jumping off. Hey, uh, thanks for watching Gary's Garage. Uh, I do appreciate uh, for those who take the time to come and watch the videos. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like um, like the video, press like. Uh, if you like the content of what I'm doing um, and uh, how I present, please uh, subscribe. Um, I'm, I'm still working to get lots of subscribers. I, I still got a long way to go, but uh, please do so. Uh, I do appreciate it. And uh, thank you for watching Gary's Garage. And there'll be the bonus footage that we'll just be putting the trim in. Snap that in place. Put those screws in. Yeah, I can probably see better on that closed. Okay, so uh, are we running? Yes, we're running. So put it in just like so. I'm trying to get this little tray in its hole. There we go. And then and then we're just lining up all the little tabs. That uh, and pins. There's a little pin right at the end. Get that lined up. So it's not snapped in, but we're all lined up. And then you should be able to. If we, unless there's a problem, it should snap in. Yeah, this is not going very good. Something up top here is coming. All right, yeah. pull it back out, dry it. So getting this on isn't hasn't been quite as easy as I had thought it would be, as in snap. And I'll show you why. It's right in here, the bottom of the vent um, frame, there's a little plastic tab that sits down, and then there's a corresponding tab on the on the wood grain trim and the, the vent tab needs to go on the outside of the grain, wood grain tab but there's a screw hidden by the tab that holds the vent so it just needs a little prying to get it in so but I had some difficulty getting this on this part didn't want to go in and now I can see why so I've got uh, a little trim tool and uh, I'm not too sure I can push in, but I just want you to be aware of that. Is I'm gonna see if I can, I can push this, uh, push this in. And there it goes. So it's just a little prying at the same time as the as the pushing. down and now I can work along getting all of these lined up tricky there we go the last one down the end there and then let's push that all in that's good then I can just uh, put this cover back on and reinstall that and that's it job done anyway thanks again for watching Gary's garage don't forget to subscribe <laughs>